contact her with a little pit in it. So it's a start cap. Right now, turn it on. This compressor wasn't pumping at all. The motor was running, but wasn't pumping. I'm gonna guess something broke inside, like a rod or something, rather than a valve. We'll see if I'm right or wrong once I cut it open. Well, it is inside of a Copeland. Windings look good. I'll pop that off here in a second. Let me get her open and see what's up. Well, this is pretty interesting. I don't know if you can see that. That is a, the mounting tab, which goes right there, and there's a little rubber piece. It actually broke, and when that broke, it broke the discharge line coming out of the compressor clean off. I was wondering why I had so much oil right here coming out whenever I cut this compressor out but it cut the discharge line right there whenever this mount broke huh. this would sit right here on the other side just like that and there's the other spring on that side so that's pretty interesting Everything else looks good inside. I'll take it apart, but that's why I wasn't pumping. Because this broke off from right here. So I was just pumping inside the, in the housing. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, she spins freely and everything. I can spin it. You can see the pistons in there. I wish I could spin it so you could see without my hand in there. There you go, you can see it moving somewhat. But yeah, everything looks good, just, <clears throat> just broke off. Because that piece right there broke. Never seen that before. Yeah, usually whenever I take the compressor out of the housing, I usually have to cut the discharge line because it is connected to the discharge tube, but not in this case. Let me take off the head and take a look at it. The suction gas comes through the windings, down through the windings. And it'll go into the head, and then whenever the compressor, I mean the piston goes down, these valves will open, and then when it compresses, the discharge gas goes out through the middle, and goes out through this muffler, and out the compressor on the other side. Yeah, there's a good amount of oil in the head. Which is not good. And here's the top of the valve plate. There's your discharge valves right underneath that plate. Sits up like this. Gas goes in. Gas comes out underneath this. And it'll go out through this muffler.